Okay, 95 kilogram Thor is standing on a cart holding a hammer. Everything's moving to the right at 2.4 meters per second. What is the velocity of Thor and the cart if he throws the hammer to the left, throws it behind him, right? He's gonna be going faster, right? It's gonna be like a bit like a rocket propulsion type thing, right? All right. So here he is, he's on this cart. It's a 43 kilogram cart. He's a 95 kilogram. He's got this hammer that is 5.2 kilograms. And he is moving to the right at 2.4 meters per second. All right. Um, and then he throws the hammer to the left. So let's draw a picture of this hammer flying through the air to the left at 32 meters per second. So 32, but it's going to be negative because it's to the left. And then here is and then I think we, we don't know how fast he's going, right? But we do know that this is 95 and 43. Okay, so let's just figure this out, right? The total mass here is 95 plus 43 plus 5.2. 95 plus 43 plus 5.2 is 143.2 kilograms of stuff here. This is, uh, the hammer is 5.2 kilograms, and it's going freeway speed, and it's like, you know, 12 pounds or something like that, right? 5.2 times 2.2, that is 11.44 pounds, right? Look out for that hammer, right? Okay, and then this is 95 plus 43. That is 138 kilograms of stuff here. Okay, now the total momentum has to be the same. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put an equals here and add up the momentum. So this total momentum is m times v, so it's 143.2 times 2.4, that's positive because it's to the right, okay? And then this equals uh, 5.2 times negative 32 plus 138 times V. We don't know the V. Okay, that's it. We got it. So this is what I do. I write the, the math right below the, the actual moving object in the picture. Um, this really helps me because I'm not very good at these problems. I'm not very good at doing long, detailed things like this. I have to force myself to be good at it. Okay, so 143.2 times 2.4. This is 343.68. 5.2 times negative 32. is negative 166.4 plus 138 V. Okay, so I gotta get this term all by itself because then I can divide. So I'm gonna add this to both sides. So I'm gonna go plus 166.4. If I add that to that side, that goes away. So 343, that guy, plus 166.4. We get 510.08. equals 138V, and now we're set. Now we can just divide. So I'm going to divide that by 138, and I get 3.696, which is about 3.70 meters per second. Okay. Now, the fact that it's positive means it's to the right, and you must label these problems right and left, even if it's obvious. Okay. Just saying.